it's been a while since I've done a video. What should I do it on, eh? Hey? Is there anything interesting on uh, YouTube? You gotta be joking. Bitch, what? This is. This is. This is BTS. Life goes on. Song. This song is. Not what I expected. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love BTS. I freaking love them with my whole heart. I've been a fan of them since dope, okay? And now that's a long ass time. That's like since 2015 or 2014. That's that, that's dope, okay? <laughs> I I just wasn't expecting the song to be like this and I absolutely love it. I really freaking love it. Like seriously, so much. This song is just what I think a lot of people needed right now because you know, everything that's happening in the world, everyone's having a rough year. And I think BTS are here to help make everyone feel better through this song. This is just a chill song, which is helping everyone get through everything. And I seriously think BTS just know what to do for everyone. And I love it. But anyways, when the song first starts with the drum and acoustic guitar, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm already freaking loving the vibes that they are giving off. But also, don't forget about that cool background singing thingy because don't don't get me wrong. I am a musically talented person. The background singing thingy that sounds cool as well at the start. Thank you, BTS, for just like from just the instrumental helping me relax and probably helping a lot of other people relax. So seriously, thank you. Then we get the Jungkook singing, which is. <laughs> So good. <coughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I was getting a glass of water. Did you think I was peeing in a cup or something? But yeah, the singing from everyone just sounds so natural and beautiful. And the more the song goes on, the more connected I feel to BTS throughout the song. <coughs> then the like an echo in the forest lyric happens and i am here for that because goddamn that chorus is so beautiful so good i absolutely love it like i can listen to this song so much because of how beautiful and natural and connecting this song is like it is yeah it's good it's good it's good it's really good but to be honest, I thought there wouldn't be anything more beautiful than Jungkook slapping everyone's asses. Oh, I was wrong. This chorus is just so much more beautiful than that, which is weird to say. I, I never thought I'd see something more beautiful than Jungkook going, oh, oh yeah. Is that weird to say or am I weird? I don't know, but you know what, Jungkook, keep it up. But yeah, this chorus just makes me go, thanks, sugar. Very sweet of you. But J-Hope, J-Hope. Who said your voice could be so ASMR for a song? <laughs> I never thought I'd experience ASMR in a BTS song, so thank you. I appreciate it. But anyways, this song is a better version of Spring Day, and Spring Day is in my top 10 songs of all time. Like, it's, just, it's a beautiful song, so you know what that means? It means this is also in my top 10 songs of all time, straight away. Yo, it's hella windy right now, and it makes my background look kind of weird, and I'm here for it. And I also can't wait to listen to the other songs from this album. I feel like they're going to be freaking amazing. But yeah, from just 2 dollars New Zealand dollars a month, my reaction to all of their other songs from the album will be available to the members of the channel. Same with my first time reaction. So if you guys want to help me make this a full-time thing, then definitely think about becoming a member because you'll get one, extra content, and two, you would, uh, I mean, extra content, to be honest. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to help make me make this full time, then please become a member today, and I swear it'll be worth the $2.99 a month. Anyways, lyrics. Fuck man, these lyrics make me so sad. Like we all know what it's about, right? Like we all know what it's about. Hmm? Hmm? Cause if not, you're Patrick Starr, cause you're living under a rock. Like for realsies, this song or the lyrics for this song are beautiful. Like these lyrics are so heart-wrenching and so relatable for a lot of people out there and i love it and it all begins with the first lyrics one day the world stopped and just from that we all know this is about covid 19 2020 and oh, please stay safe out there everyone okay i don't want any of you to get it okay i know it's rough for a lot of you out there and i sincerely hope you 
or anyone around you, the people you care for, are all well through this. Uh, we got it pretty lucky here in New Zealand, but it, it can still happen again. And I don't want anyone out there to get that COVID-19 because it's not a nice thing, okay? So please stay safe out there. I'm begging you, please. But anyways, this song is more like a message. A sad message to the people of the future. Streets are raised of footprints. I'm in a world of pain. This cold the world gave to me. There's no end in sight. Is there a way out? And there are plenty more lyrics like this, which are actually really sad, but really true, you know? BTS wrote this song to help everyone out there, help everyone around the world to get through this, because they're just like us. They've been affected by COVID-19, and they're in the same situation as a lot of us, so they know how everyone else is feeling, and they're letting, one, letting everyone know that they're in the same boat, and that we'll all get through it. And, like, the lyrics are so, so good. Seriously, so, so good. Thank you, BDS. <laughs> did I do that right? Or did you go, like, oh. What's that? You want some agio? Oh, but seriously, these dudes are so freaking kind, and I just want to thank them every single day. <laughs> like, seriously want to thank them every single day. So, BTS, okay? Thank you for always being here for everyone. We love you. Um, mm. Choreography. Oh, there was no choreo in this music video. But, like, does this count as the choreo? Because, like, I've, I'm gonna make it count as the choreo. Music video. Okay, 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 okay. Jungkook, you're an absolute goddamn legend. Like, this is such a beautiful music video. It gives off the vibes that made me cry. <laughs> Wanna ride a bike? Nope. Wanna go on a tour? Nope. Okay, that actually made me really sad when I saw that. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Wanna make me cry? Yep. <laughs> but seriously, I can't believe you've done this. I thought we were friends. I thought we had. But seriously, the start of this music video, the faded color grading, at the start, with V wearing his mask, then taking it off. Ooh, that was, ooh, that that was a great start to show how simple this music video is going to be, how beautiful this music video is going to be, and how relatable this music video is going to be. But the cutter grading definitely made it feel like isolation, sadness, and relatableness. Because this is how everyone is seeing the world right now. And Jungkook did a great job for the star of this music video. Just from the cutter grading and the opening shot. Seriously. It, oh, he's such a good director. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so glad the music video took a simple route. Because if it just wouldn't fit. It just would not fit if it was uh, overly dramatic. So many green screens, you know awesome set design music video it just wouldn't it wouldn't fit the vibes and it just feels more real and it has actually made me want to watch jungkook's other videos that he has directed because i've heard he's actually done quite a bit and i haven't seen a single one so i'm thinking about watching all of those one day uh i could do a reaction for that if you want but i really just want to see his journey from where he began for directing to this music video because He's done a splendid job with this music video. But anyways, here are my top five favorite scenes of the music video. Jungkook wanting to go outside, but knowing he can't. RM fingering his bike. <laughs> v looking at the stadium when driving past it, and BTS in the stadium performing. But yeah, Jungkook wanting to go outside, knowing he can't. Oh man, just like when he walks up to the window, puts his hand on it, and is just looking so sad looking out. You know, having his memories of the past, of being able to go outside without fear or anything like that. It was, yeah, it was a beautiful scene. RM fingering his bike. Oh my God, that's so sad. <laughs> I typed it out thinking it sounded perfectly fine, but when I say it out loud, it just does not. It just, it just does not sound fine whatsoever. RM fingering his bike. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but seriously, 
when RM looks at his bike seat and it's just full of dust, it shows that he hasn't even rode it in months and months and it's collected so much dust. And then when he fingers that bad boy, when he fingers that bad boy and so much dust goes on his fingers and then he throws it in, it shows that his memories of the past of the bike and now going into the future of now because of what COVID has done. Oh, that sounds so bad. Ooh, RM fingering his bike. Woo. Sorry. V looking at the stadium when driving past it. When they drove past that stadium and V looked at it and then looked back, it showed the percussion or the... I, I am fingering his bike just came back to my head, baby. But yeah, um, how COVID cancelled their world tour, it's a sad thing. Not just for BTS, but for the fans. So when we all saw V look at the stadium, it showed he misses us. He misses performing for everyone. And he wants to do it again, but he can't because of COVID-19. And that's just, it's so sad. Like, these scenes are so well done. Jungkook, you did a great job of RM fingering his bike and all these other moments. But, like, the seriously, the it's directed so well, showing how they want to do things, but they can't because of what's happening around the world. Now, BTS in a stadium performing. The black and white scene of that entire thing. They're in the stadium, all dressed up. Jimin with his little wee angel wings. But, yeah. Them performing in an empty stadium was sad. It was really, really sad. I just feel bad for BTS now. <laughs> it, was just, it was just sad seeing them perform without performing in front of people, you know? But yeah, those were my five favorite scenes in the music video. Um, and all I can say is this music video, this song, just everything about it is a blessing. Thank you BTS for making such a beautiful, relatable song and thank you Jungkook for <laughs> directing the music video and making it super relatable for us. Especially the fingering the bike. <sighs> super relatable. But you want to play some Overwatch sometime? I'll let you carry me. <sighs> I'm just that good that I'll just let you carry me. But yeah, what I said at the start of this video, BTS know what to do for the people. Um, which is why BTS is freaking amazing and will always be one of my favorite groups. They they just make great content. They, they're just great people. And I just want to thank them once again for this. So I can't wait to listen to the rest of your album, BTS. So thank you. And uh, yeah, this is BTS. Life goes on.